Hello everyone. How are you today? Okay, so we are I'm ready to talk about my experience in Russia. You you were expecting to come here. How is everyone today? Well, firstly I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jose Rubio. I'm from Segovia, which is in the uh, in the center of Spain. Madrid is not, not so far from Segovia, only one hour by car. And um, well, you can see um, uh, on the left side or right side, I don't know, a chat. You can also comment, you can send me some questions about my experience or any other question about Russia. Um, firstly, well, I, I, as I said, I'm from Spain. And I want you to write your country, so I want to know where where you are from, so so we can also get together like, like a family. Well, uh, as I said, I'm from Spain. I'm now currently studying a PhD. Um, also looking for a, uh, an employment for the next year in an, another university in another country, and. Uh, I decided some years ago to go to Siberia. Oh, why? Everybody asked me why. Well, I decided to go there because I always dreamed to study a PhD in a cold country. I was thinking about Finland, Sweden, Norway. But I don't know why, but I got the chance to go to Siberia and I accepted it. Well, firstly, when I arrived to Siberia, I didn't know any Russian words. I only knew how to say hello. And, uh, would you like to dance with me? And that, that's all. I didn't know anything in Russian. So uh, firstly, uh, I arrived to Novosibirsk, which is the capital of Siberia. And it was a great experience. I arrived in September some years ago, and it, it wasn't it wasn't cold. It was like twenty degrees. And the first thing I did, I went to to the sea, um, and I swam. <laughs> it was it wasn't cold, so well, I'm, maybe a little bit, but I I went to 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 sow my energy to to the world. Um, well, I, I, I remember that you can write any question and I will answer at the end because I don't want to, to talk by myself because it could be boring. Um, but my, for example, the, the experience that people like the most is when I tried to dive into cold water when it was minus 30 degrees. People uh, are surprised when I do it. Well, like I can show you a picture like this. It was minus thirty degrees, but it, it was amazing. It's, uh, I did I did it twice because I forgot to to take pictures the, the same the first time. So I did it twice with some friends. For example, the, the, but I could say the best thing in in Russia are people for me because I, I made great friends and I really miss them right now. Well, uh, it, it was one of the, the, the best experience in my life uh, in, in diving into cold water, but also different um, experiences you can also uh, learn about my my point of view. For example, I, I really liked uh, the ice town, so you can see a beautiful town created by uh, with ice uh, during winter. The best thing in winter is that from October to April, uh, you can see the snow all the time. So you can see an, an example of this ice town. So everything is made with ice, and it's amazing to walk around. Um, well, as I said, I went to Siberia, and I was working as a Spanish teacher. Um, I've been working in the uh, University of Novosibirsk and also in Omsk. And I'm now leading a project which is called 
educaspain.com, which is a network for Spanish uh, teachers and students uh, who wants to study in Spain or want to have uh, any course or um, or you want they want to come to Spain or to to have a Spanish course or a tour in Spain, and so as you can see, I'm Spanish teacher, so I decided to go there. I was teaching at the university. I also had my private lessons in in the school. Uh, for example, I got my first question: uh, Did you study in Russia? Uh, well, I could say that in my first year in Novosibirsk, I didn't study Russian language. I didn't study, I was working, but uh, I learned Russian by talking. Uh, well, I was listening to the people, I was, uh, I was going to the bar, uh, to the university, uh, to the market. I enjoyed watching and listening to the people, so I tried to learn some words. But at, at the end of the year, I realized that I understood many words for example they i knew some foreigner foreigner some foreigners that they were studying a russian course at the university and they didn't practice with uh, native people and the best thing uh, in my situation i didn't know any i didn't know so many foreigners and i decided to be immersed in the culture so is i was like uh one person more in, in this group. So that's why my friends call me now the uh, Siberiak, just like I'm a Siberian guy for them. Uh, well, I'm so excited that also some people uh, that are, are commenting now, so they are learning Spanish, so this is amazing as well. Um, uh, for some when some friends in Spain asked me to know any word in Russian language, so I would say how to say hello in, in Russian. Well, the, the informal way is Privet. But I try to use the formal way, which is Stratwitsi, which ah, is the, the code is scarce, so they don't ask me any more questions in Russian, in Russian language. Uh, but I continue with my experience in, in, in Novosibirsk. Uh, for example, Maslenitsa, is a party which is like the carnival in in other parts of the world. Um, you can see people playing and dancing and having tea or having some blini, which is like crepe, the, the French crepe, but it's made in Russia. Um, other great experience I discovered in Russia was uh, the culture. Um, people love classical music, art, ballet. I, I was surprised when I went to the to the opera theater in Novosibirsk, and I saw uh, ballet. Uh, uh, so. I, I never expected to be like this. Um, I could also, I, I was traveling a lot also in Russia. For example, one of the best trips I made, it was in Sergeyes, which uh, are mountains, not so far from Novosibirsk. When I say not so far, it's like eight hours by bus. It's like eight hours is, is it's close, it's not far, it's if we are talking about uh, about Siberia. So in Sergeyes, I made so many friends. I was like for a weekend, uh, skiing or trying to ski, right? because I, I wasn't able to, to ski, but it was sort of like a Russian intensive course for me because I was immersed with some Russian friends um, and I spent uh, a great time there. For example, um, well, I talk about uh, swimming into cold water when it was minus 30, but also in this place, in Sheregues, I went to sauna. Um, well, uh, if the, the sauna, you could be inside like 90 degrees inside, and then you have to run away go outside and 
jump into cold water, which would be like minus 20 outside. So you can see like uh, more than 100 degrees difference from, from the beginning uh, till the end. And it's, it's amazing. But the worst thing, uh, well, I mean, the worst thing for me, I, I didn't really like it when people in the sauna, they hit you with some, uh, with some plants. I don't know the name of these plants, but you can, you can see there. So they hit you when you are naked in the sauna and just to open the, the skin and feel better after that, I don't know. Well, also I was, uh, I went to, from Novosibirsk, I went to Tomsk. So I gave to any speech there uh, at the university as well. And well, I also met an important person in my life, but unfortunately we are not in, in the same relationship right now. Um, it, but it was a good experience. Um, I could say also that I was in Russian TV for twice. The first time, as you can see, I was in Novosibirsk television. So I was talking about uh, no different uh, things that they used to uh, they used to use and they, they were all like Siberian antique uh, objects. It, it was a good experience, but it was this time I was talking in, in English, so I, 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 I couldn't have a good uh, experience talking in, in Russian. Uh, for example, well, they, they are asking me, you didn't like the heating? Well, I, I will say I didn't really like it. <laughs> no. It's like when you're totally naked and they hit you with some plants. It's, I don't know. Maybe I, I have to try again. Or maybe the guy was hitting so hard so he wanted to have fun with me or at me. I don't know. But, well, I will try another another time for sure. Also, they asked me how is to swim in water at minus 30 degrees. Well, um, it, it was great. It was great. Uh, people do it, uh, not, not everyone, but it's a tradition for so many people that they want to uh, swim in cold water every winter, even many times in the same period. Um, they give you it gives you a lot of energy when you go to uh, to cold waters like you well it's uh, this feeling i don't know how to describe it but for some of the f the first well the first time I, every time i did it uh, i got energy and for some of once i was dancing until six o'clock in the morning uh, in, in a disco and I, I couldn't stop. <laughs> I was full of energy. This, uh, as you can, as you say in, in these comments, it's good for situations. It's, 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 it's like this. But don't think that in, in Siberia it's always cold. It's not like that. I said that from October to April could be uh, always minus uh, below zero. But uh, I also went, oh, I was in summer and one day it was plus 40. As you can say, I took this, this picture this day. Uh, this is a beach which is located in Novosibirsk, uh, which is like a, a lake. Um, people went there to enjoy, it's, it's like, first of all, what are you doing? Uh, why do I have to go to the beach in Spain when I have this beautiful beach in Siberia? I don't know. <laughs> I, I enjoyed the situation with some friends as well. Well, I have so many things to talk about this place, Novosibirsk, but I, I need to continue because I am sure you want to make more questions. And then after this year in Novosibirsk, I decided to come back to Spain. Um, uh, well, I came back to Spain for only a uh, few weeks because I decided to go to Krasnoyarsk to study a Russian course. The first Russian course I took, it was in summer after one year living in Siberia, it, but it was only for three weeks. So 
but also I made uh, great friends in the Krasnoyars. And then I decided to go uh, the, uh, from September to Piatigorsk, which is located in the Caucasus. So as you can see here, this is the Elbrus mountain, which is the highest mountain in Europe. So I decided to go there. Um, the culture in the Caucasus is totally different. For example, one of the best things in the Caucasus was the food, shashlik, which is a uh, meat, uh, more, uh, really interesting in a, in a steak. Um, also, people, uh, the culture was different because also they had influence from the different republics from the Caucasus. Um, uh, and people stayed more inside the house instead of outside the house. For example, when I was in Siberia, I enjoyed going out almost every day, even, even though it was minus 30 and I wanted to go to the theater, to the cinema, to the disco, to the restaurant. I wanted to go every day out. Even when you are in other countries, uh, warmer countries and is uh, in winter plus 10 you want to be inside the house you want you don't want to go outside because you feel like it's cold i don't want to go outside but i like to uh, to have in this mind that is it could be cold outside but people are not cold they want to enjoy life as well and um, i really like for example, going to the restaurant, which is open 24 hours and have like uh, some, a salad at 2 a.m. Um, I couldn't, uh, well, as I was talking about Piatti Gors, I, uh, I was working also at the university and I spent only there five months because I had to come back to Spain because I had a, a surgery and I needed to come back for healthy reasons. Um, but don't expect that Russian people are cold. For example, I got a great experience also dancing. It's like uh, Russian people like dancing. Yeah. For example, I danced with them salsa, bachata, kizomba. Kizomba, uh, it was the first time in a dance, kizomba, it was in Russia. And there is it's getting more popular in other countries, but in the first time was in Russia. I have danced in more than 10 cities in Russia. I attended to different festivals. Then after Piatigors, I had to come back to Spain for the operation. And when well, I decided to, to create uh, a business, open my Spanish school in Spain. But, but after that, I was so burned out, I decided to go back to Siberia, and then I decided to go to Omsk. In Omsk, which is also a, a city in Siberia, is nine hours, uh, eight, nine hours by train from Novosibirsk, and I enjoyed another year there with great friends. For example, I, I couldn't say before, uh, that hockey, ice hockey, is a great sport there. And it was the first time I really liked it. I liked the environment, people uh, in, in this place, uh, enjoying and supporting their team. Um, also, uh, as I said before, the Russian people like culture and they have puppets. Uh, this is a museum in Omsk, and there are, I, I've seen many artists. Uh, for example, in my city in Segovia, which is, uh, there is a festival uh, famous around the world, which is called Titiri Mundi, which is for puppets and uh, shows in the streets. Um, I met some people, they, they wanted to, they have a dream to come to Segovia to participate in the festival. And also, I went to a museum uh, to, to discover uh, how people lived uh, some years ago uh, in Siberia. And I was surprised because they had this kind of 
coats, jackets, so you could walk around Siberia with your horse. Um, could, when it could be like minus 40, you, 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 can you imagine that you have to walk many kilometers to go from one city to another city with your, with your horse and your family and different objects like like it's like with this jacket you 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 feel so warm i was sweating already when i was trying to to use it um uh, also in omsk i went to to the tv for the second time as you can see well uh, you can also find it on facebook well on facebook on youtube this is a I was in a documental so they made for me like a Spanish guy living in Sevilla. Why? Why you are the, you are the um, uh, so I went to a town with uh, in close to Omsk. Um, I met great friends as well. They are a group band where they play folklore. They play a traditional music, which is really great. I also uh, uh, try to teach them how to dance the Spanish traditional dance, Jota, because, uh, so uh, they were trying to, to follow me. And it was a great experience. After that, with these great friends, I, I, I met with them different times. So I joined them in a festival. So you can, you can see with traditional Russian, uh, clothes as well um, and it was it was nice as well for example I got another question what about food uh, for example my favorite food well I I talk about shushlik before but I really like for example plof which is like a I will say like a Russian or Uzbek from Uzbekistan paella I really like it plof it's like this. Um, I could say also I miss Russian gastronomy. Um, uh, for some different salads, soups, I, I really like it. Um, I don't know if you know any any Russian meal, so you can also share with us. Um, well, for, so I will summarize. I was in Novosibirsk for one year. A half a year in the Caucasus, one year in Omsk. Then my contract is over. I need to come back to Spain. But it's Russia or Siberia is not over for uh, forever. So I decided to go back with a friend, Dominican friend, and we decided to do the Trans Siberian train. And after that, after this experience, I have many friends that they want to join my experience in the Trans Siberian train because we started from Novosibirsk to St. Petersburg from different cities. For example, if you know in, uh, any geography in Russia, I could say in my experience in, in Russia, I went to different cities. I will say all the cities if I remember properly. I went to Moscow, St. Petersburg, uh, Rostov, uh, Stavropol, Piatigorsk, uh, Kazan, Katerinburg, Kemerovo, Tomsk, Krano Krasnoyarsk, Novosibirsk, Sheregez, Altai mountains as well. But in the Trans-Siberian train with a friend, we went from Novosibirsk to uh, St. Petersburg uh, for 10 days. So we could discover different cities and also meet with friends in different cities because I had friends everywhere. For example, one guy who went with me to the sauna the first time in Novosibirsk, he was working in Kazan and I, I met him is, uh, to remember all time as well. So you can see here the Trans-Siberian train. I really like it because you can see that everyone is sleeping in the same wagon. You can have all the beds, everyone is sleeping, and you make many friends as well. Um, um, to go there inside and start, uh, you can start talking with all different people uh, sleeping or resting around you, and they share great experiences with you. But well, 
the worst thing is that in Russia, not so many people speak English. So it's important to learn a little bit in, in Russia. Um, for example, well, I'm from Spain, but I felt integrated in the culture. Also, when people saw that I'm a Spanish guy, they tried to help me as much as possible. Um, they they were even surprised. They wanted to be friends with me and ask me some questions about my life, why, why I'm here in Siberia. And I said, uh, I, with this Trans-Siberian train, I was visiting friends everywhere in Novosibirsk, Omsk. And I went to Kazan, but that it was a coincidence that the a, a World Beach Handball Tournament was playing there. I was supporting in Spain. I love handball. I, I used to play handball when I was a child, and my the handball team is, is one of the best in Spain. So I decided to go to this beach handball championship, and I was surprised. It was at the same time. I, it was unexpected when I uh, decided to go to the to Siberia to, with the Trans-Siberian train. I'm a friend from Dominican Republic. He discovered everything about the Russian culture in only 10 days. Food, he tried everything that he could. Drinks, also we, we were having uh, meals and dinners with, with some friends. And um, we tried the traditional Russian cuisine no? and in, a, in a dacha, which is a house in the countryside. We can have shashlik, like a meat in a stick, like a barbecue. And then, well, also we can drink vodka or, or samagon, which is the, the homemade vodka. Uh, but don't expect that everyone uh, drinks vodka in, in, in Russia. Uh, the most typical drink is tea, not only vodka. You can drink vodka when you are with friends or celebrating something uh, in at work or the family. Or but do, they don't drink vodka every day. But we were trying to to uh, integrate this culture and this tradition. Um, also, a great thing. Um, that many friends, when I went back to Spain, now in Crotlin in Spain, many friends decided to visit me in Spain. Many friends, for example, I got in my small city many times, also in different places in Spain. As you can see, this is in, in Sevilla, which uh, it was past 40, they decided to go to Sevilla in summer, in August, it was past 40, and they were, they were dying. <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't uh, survive with this hot weather. But it was a good experience also um, trying to, to receive, to uh, have some guests from Russia. I really have, uh, really have, um, I really love having guests from this country and even more if they are my friends. For example, this guy used to organize different trips to Altai Shereges uh, for Russian people and also, well, I learned a lot uh, from these people, from these traditions. Well, um, for me, I was already talking for half an hour. I don't know if you have any question. I talk a bit about food, uh, culture, meals, people. Uh, I am now open for questions. For example, I, I asked you to write in, in the chat uh, the, your country. I don't know if you are watching me from Russia, or from Spain, or, or from Kazakhstan, or United States. So it will be great to know your country. And if you want to ask me any question, it's time for that. Um, so if you are curious about Russian culture, I totally recommend you to go to, to Russia. Uh, even if you go to Russia, 
I will avoid to go to Moscow, or St. Petersburg, because they are big cities. You can see similar cities in, in Europe. But you need to go to the real Russia and Siberia. Um, I, any questions? So I, I can I can finish already my uh, presentation. Well, for example, we got someone from Uganda, which is great. So we have also from different con continents, I think, from Africa, Europe. Uh, I don't know if we have another continent right now. And well, of course, Russia. Um, yeah. So thank you very much for attending to this webinar. And um, I remember again to encourage you to learn Russian if you like the language. I really like the language. It's, for me, it's the language with, uh, which I like the most. Uh, the sound, for example, of, of the language. And encourage you to go to Russia to learn the language. And even also, if you want anything about uh, Spain or Spanish language, you can contact me. Also, write uh, my email if you want to contact me for any detail uh, about what well, you can see here. This is my email, so you can write me anytime. And thank you for, for coming. Oh, well, they say we got one girl from Moldova. Привет.